we had no common friends no connection he is first from jaipur uh, muslim i was from delhi protected bengali rebel <laughs> everything together and we were really very different extremely extremely different my father had no issues but my mother did have a problem that are you are actually marrying a muslim it all happened within say 15 days and in 15 days we came to know that it's advanced uh, stage of uh, neuroendocrine uh, cancer those are the my uh, sleepless nights noyan is because i feel that i never believed it we didn't hire a nurse never in this entire thing we didn't hire a nurse so 24 by 7 i was with him and uh, he wouldn't have anybody else within a year within 6 months yeah he responded to the treatment so well so well that it was just a matter of 3 4 months and he'll be fine but then again it deteriorated every night i still have a whole suitcase i can't let that those medical files go every night and read them again and again did i do something wrong no you didn't he went without me for the first time and he didn't come back it's never easy to lose a loved one the pain is irreparable but i have somebody who has braved through life's biggest odds with a smile and a lot of strength i have known her for 2 years but i've only spoken to her over calls and messages today i'm very 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 happy that she's joining me for a very special conversation only on bollywood Hub bubbles her story season 3 thank you shutapadi i am going to call her shutapadi um, <laughs> for doing this and i know it's not easy but again i think that um, we are going to talk about your story uh, your story of strength your story of bravado uh, because i think it will give a lot more people men and women the power to deal with loss i want to start off um, you know your love story with uh, irfan sir is something that doesn't exist in today's times like me being like from this generation i always tell my mom that you know i can't get married because are aapke zamane ka pyar yahan pe nahi milta how did your love story begin okay thanks nan for having me um well i before i begin when you say that you know why we hardly spoke i truly believe in souls and good souls meeting we were meant to meet it's true and that's how i feel i met irfan we were meant to meet we had no common friends no connection he is first from jaipur uh, muslim i was from delhi protected bengali rebel <laughs> everything together and we were really very different extremely extremely different so you know i was also not supposed to go to nst oh ha huh. so irfan wanted to be so i just feel destiny sometimes pave ways for people to meet they have to meet i had to meet irfan you know and i do feel that it's not about this birth i do truly truly feel that maybe not as lovers not as husband and wife i don't know but we have a connections for many births oh wow and it's just that in this birth we met met as friends and then husband and wife and then and we are going to meet again so for me it's just this that is this journey he's finished his journey i am on my journey because destiny will take me whenever it chooses to and we shall meet maybe we won't recognize each other but we shall meet in some other birth in other form i really really feel that and very strongly very very strongly do you remember your first meeting with him yes i my first meeting was uh, in uh, in those times in national school of drama we had two sets of interviews so first interview first you give a written paper then you are called if you are shortlisted called for first interview then you give an then shortlisted and called for the final interview so for the final interview i saw this thin lanky boy 
uh, wearing a black terry cotton bell bottomish pant like a very mithun chakravarti style and his hair was like mithun chakravarti and he put me off completely because <laughs> i was not into synthetics i had a very good i'm so sorry not to be humble but i had a very different taste and uh, you know i i was too refined for him <laughs> so, so i didn't pay attention you know i really didn't pay attention and uh, because i am born and brought up in delhi so for after the first interview i had just gone to check out national school of drama ki kaisa hai and all that and then i had met some seniors who were in third years and uh, we made friends and that day i was pretending to be a senior and i actually ragged these people who had come so i had ragged irfan and i was not selected mind you i didn't even know but if i was ragged him but i ragged him and so i was not what? because and n- not a huge thing but i just said oh so you think you'll get selected which place you are from are jaipur ka hai jaipur you know all that kind of shit and he was a very you know sanskari is generally used with hindus but i use it anybody with culture he was a very True. sanskari boy extremely well behaved gentleman and beautiful amazing boy so he was like ma'am yes ma'am and that ma'am and that ma'am and i was wanting to freak out laughing and then after an hour we were to sit and write that exam for the second interview i'm um, for the second test you know so he just saw and saw kare ye to wohi ladki baith ke exam likh rahi hai yaar you know so that then was, he realized then he realized and he hated me for that and he hated me after that for some time and i didn't even pay attention ha huh? so that was our beginning but what struck me in him which i know that there has to be a seed to bloom you know and i saw that seed he was so sincere so sensitive yeah so i mean even in class na like i was all about uh, okay this is new this is uh, i didn't want to do a typical job and a 9 to 5 job so if i can admit that was my that's why i went to nst yeah okay and he went went to nst because he definitely wanted to act so his yeah. motivation and focus was still clear you know like completely clear so then i saw this boy that you know and because i was from delhi so my parents would call the ho- the whole class for food and all you know hostel deprived children you know so we, they all used and to and bengali and bengali parents so they all used to come to chitranjan park and everybody would have fun we would go to chhat or you know wherever and and we had a cupboard uske niche mere bhai ke books rehti thi and irfan would just sit there open that cupboard the moment we came into my house he would be there till we my mother would ask us to eat food he would be there so it's something you know in him and my, actually my parents like also him. at that yeah point and my parents liked him more than i did like he, she oh. would keep telling me are oi chele ta na ki bhalo chele shotti ki mishti ki mishti you know and uh, so you know i said okay okay but shotti mishti to chilo ha of course khubi mishti of course but then but what impresses me about today if i look back and what impresses me what an incredible journey that's true what an incredible like we are such true. privileged spoiled intellectually spoiled sport you know like we were intellectually aware of everything even when we went to nst true and even then we were not which we realized when you do a course you know yeah, you know true. that you know i want to funda funda hai you know but i want to know that you said that initially he hated you for the prank that you pulled on him how did that culminate into love like who was the did you show interest did he show interest how did that happen no none of us showed interest we were we just became became very good friends why is because for me sincerity is tick box number 1 yeah. tick number 1 because you know babel knows that so for me <laughs> yeah. it's very important that you have to be honest whatever you believe sir you need to be honest and i saw that and i was drawn as a friend so we were friends and then honestly speaking na na and i just remember maybe once sitting on the student we had a now to everything is changed but in outside a student union office we had steps at that time in nst 
so i think it was 12ish 1ish we were drinking hiding huh, from the <laughs> meet you know whoever and uh, that's the day uh, we started talking about personal life you know and uh, you know it's it's very strange like there was not a single moment in our life like we were not we got married also there was no official date we said oh my god we have to take a loan let's get married so we really don't have in that sense the societal notion of romanticism attached True. either to our relationship not to our marriage so we had our own sense of ki ha apna apan to saath hi rahenge yaar you know and that was decided not a single moment like that ki cake kata hoga ya candle ke koi anguthi di hogi nothing of that sort happened sorry to disappoint no i am very I happy <laughs> in fact i i feel that we've romanticized love and romance to an extent where we have set unreasonable expectations of it this is relatable this is more real i'm sorry but the things that you've written is the are the same things that my i see in my mom and dad and they fight like kindergarten kids they'll call me and tell me ki your mother i'm not talking to your mother so just uh, tell her this and then my mother will call same house i am in bombay they are in calcutta they are doing mm-hmm. this after a while i'm like just talk to mm-hmm. each other i'm done being this messenger so this is real love you know but i am not disappointed at all i knew this the story is going to be like yeah, this yeah so we were friends and then we were always there for each other's need you know like yeah. we were always there he was not expressive so in a classroom and we had some like um, we anuradha kapoor was a western drama teacher and she was from she had done her course from oxford and all that and she was like really cool and good and i loved her so whatever so in you know he was not been able to express himself even to communicate to the teacher so i was his uh, i don't know how it happened but i became this messenger mediator whatever no 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 anu what he is trying to say and then <laughs> i will tell an uh, if i what anu is trying to say and that was a big cultural shock for him i used to call my teachers by my by their name in nsd <laughs> so he would say how can you call anu to anu ma'am so the, all that has happened all our cultural shocks have happened but then maybe he discovered that i was not a bad person see That's for him true. that mattered. the honesty and for him that mattered a lot like yes. i was a very conscientious politically correct person like who would fight for the union and ye nahi hona chahiye wo nahi hona chahiye i was i stood for the uh, union elections and everything so i was this uh, but he was into मुझे मतलब फॉर अ रोल इवन इन एन एस टी वी वर डूइंग अ प्ले कॉल्ड लोअर डेप्स गोरकीज लोअर डेप्स एंड ही यूज टू सिट इन जामा मस्जिद ऑन द डर्ट एंड फिल्थ फॉर आवर्स एट नाइट टू गेट इन टू द रोल एंड आई वुड से कि यार मैं इसीलिए मुझे एक्टिंग तो कभी एंड आई ऑनेस्टली आई नेवर वॉन्टेड टू वी हैव स्पेशलाइजेशन सो आई नेवर वॉन्टेड टू बिकम एन एक्टर बट दो टाइम्स वी हैड अ जनरल कोर्स फॉर वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स तो हम लोग क्लासमेट थे सब चीज़ें करते थे बट आफ्टर वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स एक्टर्स हैड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स एंड डायरेक्टर्स हैड अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो वी दैट्स वैन वी सेपरेटेड आर क्लासेज बट मेरे को वैसे ही ये बहुत self observed or sab kuch apna megalomaniac i didn't want to marry an actor i didn't want to have an affair with an actor imagine destiny was really laughing away to glory ki you know i married somebody but you know now the point is that sometimes the choices you make are not i feel that way now today that is you think i am making this choice of you know choosing irfan it's not you i really feel it's not it was not me something happened we had to meet and we had to go even our religion yeah so i'm telling you we were not supposed to be together but, but you know back in the day at that point when you speak about religion it was a very big deal today also it's quite a big deal but maybe we have progressed a little more than what we were then well, you said that your parents loved him yeah. so there was of course acceptance from your parents but there were no obstacles when it came to religion no even my parents loved him because i've always had friends who were yeah. men so my house it was not like he was my first man friend yeah. so they just loved him as a friend yeah, there, there's acceptance so yeah my father had no issues but my mother did have a problem that are you are actually marrying a muslim 
her you know the biggest problem it was so funny i find it funny that her problem is but how will i talk to his mother and all i can't speak hindi you know so <laughs> <laughs> but you know how to speak hindi i do not uh, she, she, oh. she wouldn't be able to have you know its marriages are between families and this and that and she was little getting scared ki you know because uh, you know somehow in my entire family nobody married out of uh, the religion but were there no oh, like in my house she said she would have been happy if it was a hindu let me be that honest my father didn't care but my mother yes but uh, no resistance yes. as such no resistance. not from his side his side uh, you know also because we took so long that they were all getting used to it ki See, it's not that that I'm having an affair or something like that. ये तो दोस्त है. अच्छा ये इसके hostel में दोस्त है. अच्छा इसकी माँ आती है तो इसके घर पे रहती है. अच्छा ये लोग जयपुर भी घूमने आते हैं. अच्छा ये है वो है. And then ten years down the lane, if you say that we are getting married, तो अपने आप ही you have already almost planted them in yourself in that house. That's true. So it's not that we got married immediately. We got married very late. Which is, um, which is mentioned? just before Babel was born two years ago. We wanted to buy a house finally, and we wanted a joint loan, and that's how we got married. We so were living together. Year? This was must be around um, ninety-five. And you knew him since since eighty-seven. Are so it's a long time. Long time. But you know, you have been with him. I'll come to marriage, but you've been with him through all highs and lows. Like you said, that you come from a. middle class upper mm. middle class privilege back background but when you are an actor when he came into came to bombay and wanted to act he has seen a lot of highs and lows professionally and financially as well what were the days like you know now the thing is i i just suddenly now that you are questioning me i'm questioning myself he's he was very lucky He is very lucky to have me. Absolutely. I, I'm telling you, I'm such a low maintenance girlfriend. I was, and I'm such a low maintenance wife that I don't think he had that kind of pressure from me. कि अब तो हमारी ये गाड़ी होनी चाहिए, अब तो हमारा ये घर होना चाहिए. He never felt that pressure. It was all for good work. We would say, discuss scripts. I will be. You know, just romanticizing our struggle period to say, "Hame badi taklif thi." Hamko wo taklif kabi dimag mein mehsus nahi hui. We were very happy though. We had a yesdi. We would roam around the entire Bombay in that yesdi. We ruled. We were like, we never felt. We really That's did not. That's what love is. What when it became difficult is now he has chiseled his craft. He is much better than many, 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 many ruling actors. and then you realize you can't be a ruling actor in bollywood if you don't know the people or you don't have the connections or you're not from a bollywood family yeah. you do realize that so that way but yes the lows yes in terms of personal relationships personally we suddenly felt you know we've become i was assisting govind continuously so i was you know four years five years like we would hardly meet each other those days because wo raat ko shoot karke aayenge and he was doing discovery uh, discover the india of sham benegal you know so he was doing a film called purosh this yeah. that his reportage of work is like huge. huge huge it's huge even even you know back in the day when you see some films like some iconic films and you will see him ha. in one of those small cartoon today people will watch it and say are sir ha. so as aisa hota hai so it's like that honestly i mean I, i would never have admitted in front of him never ever but today i'm saying that i was privileged to be his wife i really really was privileged to be his wife ha. Absolutely. and partner yes yeah, absolutely and it's always been a partnership yes and that's the most important thing you know when you when you write that uh, he's forgotten my birthdays but it was never a relationship it was a union yeah that is how you put it yeah. today i think people are veering towards making like relationships work but there's no partnership and that's where relationships are failing is what i feel from this generation especially mm. How are days with him? I want to know. Like you know, when you say like that, you've given a quote somewhere that there was a point he felt apparently that you would get bored one day and leave him. Yeah. What yeah, actually yeah, happened? Yeah, because you know I am a very, um, I'm a very present person. If it's boring, I will do something else. I hate toxicity. I don't let toxicity enter my 
लाइफ एंड ही इज वन हु इज फॉर कीप्स ये बहुत अच्छा रिश्ता है इसमें अगर दुख पड़ रहे हैं हम अपन के नशे काट रहे हैं बट आई वुड स्टेक टू इट ही वॉज ही केम फ्रॉम दैट माइंड सेट एंड नॉट लेटर बट वेन वी वेर एन एनिस्टी ही डिट फील दैट यार इसको तो सब जानते हैं इसकी तो थर्ड ईयर से भी दोस्ती है इसकी तो सेकेंड ईयर से भी दोस्ती है एंड पीपल डिट शो लॉर्ड ऑफ इंटरेस्ट लॉर्ड ऑफ मैन यू नो इवन वी वे टूगेदर सो ही वुड फील दैट यार यू नेवर नो यार वो बोलेगी मेरे को तो एंड आई वो आई सेड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो टू बॉम्बे आई हेट बॉम्बे आई डोंट हू वॉन्ट्स टू गो टू बॉम्बे एंड ही वॉज वेरी स्केट and he would you know tell me you know there is a queen's necklace and i strangely had never visited bombay before we shifted to bombay and they and then i came back and i said really like like really we were staying in one room in asik nagar and there was a man brushing his tooth and i said fuck i don't want to sorry that's okay. i don't want to stay in this city i want to go back please so that was a difficult uh, area in our relationship is because he just wrote, no 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 you stay here you stay. because he was very sure he couldn't have gone anywhere for yeah. me nsd itself wanted me to do a course in russia and get you know also absorbed in nsd as a lecturer and i was a little that type you know mai bahut khush thi mera chhota sa garden hoga jisme mai teacher ban lecturer bane rahungi you know i had that i didn't i never craved for a private aircraft and this <laughs> and that never no that maintenance was, i am low maintenance it's not because i am low maintenance i give value and i think i think money ka na utna hi value hai absolutely ma'am so you should not i never gave money that much of value so that's why it was very easy for him to say no to so many projects absolutely he didn't have to do anything which he didn't want because i wanted to wear diamonds no never i regretted that i did not see certain things when we were together and now i like you know like i peel i peel our relationship and i see so much of beauty which was inside which at that time i did not see and now i discover it every day like when he used to tell me you know we have a purpose in life and we have come with the purpose and he used to say all these but all that i have experienced now that we have a purpose why we come to this life we must have a purpose that's why i'm saying that i have a journey it's not that you know because he is not there that i will say ki yaar i will commit suicide i will not talk to the society i will keep quiet and i will sulk and i will get depressed no i won't get depressed because these are parallel journeys i have my journey and i have a purpose so you know what happened was like recently when 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 we got to know there were no symptoms there were no symptoms he was to leave for a shoot and there was slight uneasiness on his stomach and they got some tests done and they said okay let's get some more tests done and test 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 and we so it all happened within say 15 days and in 15 days we came to know that it's advanced uh stage of uh, neuroendocrine uh, cancer now i have never had a fa- cancer patient in my family ever so this was my first thing so i exactly didn't know what to do he first of all didn't want to do chemotherapy he didn't want to do anything with the allopath so we have this whole thing he had is we used to have organic food and we had no aluminum utensils etc etc so he lived a very holistic, holistic life yeah. so first thing i came to my mind was you know so you know how did it happen how i know why whatever and then there was at that point a lot of depression more than that there was a lot of bewilderment and what i feel today na and that's where i feel those are the my uh, sleepless nights noyan is because i feel that i never believed it and i was going like a great producer behaving like a great producer like immediately getting on to f- all over the world all the kind of doctors everybody f- embassy this friend this political connection so i didn't even give my mind to register anything not even a second i was at it and i did not let anybody interfere 
and everybody knew that they can't have that speed breakneck speed initially we had this family everybody but i would get impatient with the way they were discussing because it would take a two hour a long uh, thing you know i said no this has to be done somebody said you know something needs to it's very important but there is a guy uh, who who has it in dehradun and while they're discussing the pros and cons i have already discussed have spoken to somebody in dehradun and i i just come out of my bedroom and still they are like discussing i said it is coming by tomorrow morning's flight you know so i was at it relentless on yeah. everything be it a doctor who is not is a naturopath in karnataka kerala and but so i did not give my mind to grieve even to the news i just did not because i was so sure i'll take him out of it that's where is it's what is uh, i feel very helpless sometimes because i feel that i gave him those signals that i'll take him out of it you know because we were friends like that and i said i never said are theek ho jayega i just i did not even give it bow you know i was just at it ki ye karna hai wo karna hai ye karna hai wo karna hai you know and we didn't hire a nurse never in this entire thing we didn't hire a nurse so 24 by 7 i was with him and uh, he wouldn't have anybody else but you know you braved those two years with a smile on your face yes i did because uh, because it was very difficult but you know that's where i also am crying today is because that's because of my smile only i gave a wrong impression to irfan that we will brave through this and i was very sure man i don't know why and now today i feel ki i cannot really predict death i cannot say that you know i will stop it and uh, neither can for myself nor for anybody else but at that time i did feel that mai rok lungi but there was a point right yes, because yes yes well yeah within a year within 6 months yeah he responded to the treatment so well so well that it was just a matter of 3 4 months and he'll be fine but then again it deteriorated and and i why i don't want to get into details of that now you know is because that's what i've been doing and right now say 2 months ago i just stopped doing that no don't it's okay. because every Nobody night needs to know. no ev- no it's not about whether people need to know or not it's for me yeah. i want to protect myself now for ev- every night i still have a whole suitcase i can't let that those medical files go every night what's and read them again and again did i do something wrong no you didn't no you didn't it is i think you said that you are privileged to be his wife he is privileged and he believes it and i am pretty sure he will always say this like you said that you will meet him in another life and he will again meet you with a hug and say that you know let's fight it and let's do everything all over again together yes. because that is what you've been doing you've been a warrior i have only seen you you know when 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 he passed away there were a lot of people who would have called you to you know ask you i always feel this like as journalists um, sometimes the nature of the job is such that we have to like get a quote or yeah. something and it's very irritating you know mm-hmm. beyond a point i just feel that we forget to ask if they are okay if the family is okay especially when they are like people who are um known to the public but his you know even when he was doing um angrezi medium i used to see those posts and as a child who has grown up watching him and as somebody who met him loved him for the person he is as well it gave us a ray of hope too that oh it's all getting fine you know he's coming back to acting and everything and i remember um, that the trailer launch and he had sent out that audio mm-hmm. that is when it hit us again that oh he is not fine it's n- but he's braved he's also braved that entire time with a smile were there any days when he lost hope were there any days when he no he didn't lose hope but what was very difficult for me on a personal level it was like i said we didn't even he- keep a nurse so yeah. i was with him day night evening 
and uh, actually it's very strange to say but we were very we are very individuals like strong individuals he was a night person i was a day person so we always had two bedrooms you know wherever we choose to sleep together we would otherwise we would have our different bedrooms and i remember a vastu person coming and saying that why do you have two bedrooms when but we have different we are different individuals and completely different two people and i can't handle three o'clock somebody pacing up and down in my room so he's seeing a film and everything i want to sleep i get up early yeah. man you know so, <laughs> so that's how we were yeah. <laughs> you know and two from there because i had to look after him for 24 by 7 so this two years we stayed in the same bedroom this is the first time in our marriage or partnership or since we met and we lived together we also before marriage lived together so you know for two years we were actually sleeping on the same bed for two years when i didn't know that we will not do it again in future you know so it's i think that's what i'm saying that's what we were meant to do that's why god gave us the chance ki two years boys can't fight anymore just accept like two years first time he said he loves me two years he said i asked once and he was in complete pain you know and i said ki who do you love the most you love babil and ayan more than me na i love you more than babil and ayan na and he said and he was not talking because he was so pale and he said yeah i still see. remember that so these are the things which happened which i was meant to hear I, if it is meant for you, it is bound to happen. I remember Babil also saying this when you said that, you know, because of the process, it's so painful as well. Chemotherapy in, in, in a way is so painful to the body um, that you do get cranky and yeah. irritable, easily yeah. irritable. Yeah. Babil in an interview had said that, you know, um, that you have taken those tantrums, those bad days where you would get chirchira also with a pinch of salt and just smiled and moved. कभी कभी डिफिकल्ट नहीं हुआ नहीं डिफिकल्ट बहुत हुआ नयन बट आई नेवर शोड इट इन फ्रंट नेवर आई मीन एंड बाद में नहीं हुआ शुरू में बहुत लगता है यार सो मच आई एम डूइंग वी डोंट हैव एन नर्स आई गो एवरीवेयर आई डू एवरीथिंग डॉक्टर्स तो ही वुड बी लाइक आर डॉक्टर डॉक्टर शेवंती शी स्टिल लाइक वी स्पोक अबाउट अ मंथ अगो एंड शी वॉज टेलिंग मी एंड वी कैप्ट इन टच सो शी वॉज टेलिंग मी यू नो I have seen patients from very rich families. I have seen from very low of grade. But like she's a oncologist, a very mm. famous one. She said, "Believe me, Shatapa, there has never been one caretaker like you." It is true. You are a great caregiver, and uh, because she would discuss everything with me, Irfan had no clue in the sense that he knew he was unwell, but. अब लास्ट टेस्ट में ये था दिस इज इज एग्जैक्ट सिचुएशन ये वो वो सब नहीं उसको पता था सो दैट्स हाउ इट वॉज सो आई डिड हैव अ प्रॉब्लम इनिशियली दैट मैं इतना करती थी इवन देन ही वुड टेक फॉल्ट मेक टेक आउट फॉल्ट या बट दैट ही एज दैट्स इज पर्सनैलिटी लीव इवन विद स्क्रिप्ट यू नो आई रोट वन थिंग समाइम एंड ही डिड फ्यू एपिसोड ही डिरेक्टेड फ्यू एपिसोड ऑफ बनेगी अपनी बात and i've done like i think that show 301 or 257 or something you know koi director ne mujhe dobara script likhne ke liye nahi bola except irfan when he directed he made me write five drafts of the same thing taskmaster that's was that's how he is he was a perfectionist and i was so used to it ki abhi main kuch likhti hu aur sab bolte hai na bahut acha hai so i miss him so much ki i would read it to him half the time he wouldn't read my stuff uh and but if he did he would say ki yaar ye bahut cliche hai yaar why did you take this easiest route you know so i don't have that person in my life today who would say you are not great you are not a great writer ye kya hai yaar you know so i miss that who would really reprimand and say ki isme yaar thodi aur mehnat kar i um, you know like you said that you were 24/7 with him for all tests for everything but for the last one where he went to the hospital i think you that was the only test you were yeah. not yeah it was not a test noyan what had happened was he caught an infection and he has been catching this infection because he had a stent uh, earlier to it was in his bile duct for uh, 
for it to the bile to flow and because it was a foreign body so you know he would get infections so it was not the first time but what was happening was no uh, oral medicine was working so he had to the doc said that you know uh, get him to the hospital and we'll do intravenous and do din din mein theek ho jayega intravenous de ke he'll come back home and she said we know that he can't do without you a hospital at least we are there so don't come because that was the onset of covid ha so he, she said you know covid hai mat aaye mat aao to maine kaha theek hai so i was very scared to ask him because he would not he would hate it to go without me anywhere during this time so i said ki you know this is what shivanti is saying but i think it will be okay you know i'll wear mask and all for the first time he said don't come it's okay she's right and you also need rest so why don't you rest it out for two days since i'll be in the hospital so you know you rest it out and uh, i'll be coming back in three days to aa jaunga na she's saying na ki intravenous dete hi theek ho jayega infection so mm, he went without me for the first time and he didn't come back and this is the first hospital he went alone he was with the staff and babil was also there uh, you know like after two days when it is not becoming okay and they're not been able to see the problem what was happening is infection kahan ka kuch sab test negative aa rahe so what was the infection they couldn't figure out they did everything possible so then i felt that you know uh, I was getting restless because he was deteriorating health wise. Hmm. So I was I didn't know what to do and Shivanti is saying it's absolutely fine uh, and it karke karke wo do din panch din ho gaya you know 5 days 6 days and 6th day Babil said mama I don't think it's it's deteriorating you come. And I went and uh, you know all my friends said i don't know why that's the most guilt thing which i have that something would have occurred to me something could have you know something i would have questioned something i would have done though the doctor was with me on phone but i was not there there like there so so those guilt i nursed them for 2 years and i was unable to go out it's not because of the guilt i did. i just did not have the courage to face the world because you know it it seems like history when i was single without him it really seems like history like i don't even i try to now remember mai kab akeli thi acha when i had not met him what was i like oh my god i was in college you know so i have almost forgotten to live without him so i did not know and i am a very um, i don't like to cry publicly and stuff like that so i said you know i will not face on the anybody so i had really become like i did not get out of the house for 2 years and then looking at babil and ayan i just realized that we have i have to normalize in terms of even socially mm-hmm. i had kept a normal life at home but even socially i need to make normalize things you know like it's how do how is my child expected that i will not attend their college functions now or not meet their teachers now or you know it's not possible and and i had any which way is done it except yeah. those two years when he was not sick you went on the 6th day and um, i think it was the 7th day yeah. that he passed away yes. if i'm not wrong yeah you know he somehow uh, nobody expected it first of all everybody knew that he was suffering but it was still a big shock yeah. to everybody yeah. and i can speak from the media side as well that we knew that he was going through mm. um, a tough time medically mm. but we still couldn't accept it i think even till date there is a part of me um that refuses like you said that you refuse to accept that mm. we have had the time to accept it but i feel that there is a part in a lot of others in a lot of people who knew of him mm. who knew of who he was on screen maybe who didn't know him well also mm. who refused to accept that he is no more mm. and there's a beautiful thing that they say right that you you never really go away you live on in our hearts the k- kind of love with which he is remembered does that give you a sense of validation do you still feel that he's around like even while we are doing this do you still feel 
Yeah, Again, yeah, I'm yeah, talking, I do. I people do. will feel that it's stupid to say this, but there is an aura which yes, you feel that I you do, know. I do, I do very strongly, very, very strongly that he's around, and um, you know, in the toughest of the days or nights, such generally it's nights like you mentioned. The it at nights, na suddenly it would start raining, or something will happen, or a book will fall, which was his favorite or something, and I know he's around. and i know he's around till perhaps he's i believe in rebirth so the, the islam doesn't so but i feel there is a rebirth and till he's born again i feel he will be around and even if he's born again and i f- i say it with so much of faith and so much of surety that i will connect with that baby somehow or the other whenever that is born एज एन आर्ट मतलब हमारा कनेक्शन ऐसा है ही नहीं कि दोबारा ना ट्रू इज वॉट आई फील हैविंग डेल्ट विद द मोस्ट टर्ब्यूलेंट डिफिकल्ट टाइम ऑफ योर लाइफ एंड हिज लाइफ विद स्ट्रेंथ फॉर योर फैमिली वेन दैट फाइट केम टू अ कल्मिनेशन हाउ डिड यू टेक दैट डिड यू डिड यू अगेन थिंक स्टेप बैक एंड वॉन्ट टू ब्रेव इट विद अ ब्रेव फेस और डिड यू वॉन्ट टू लाइक जस्ट लेट गो the of all your emotions that have been bottling up for 2 years no i wanted to go with a brief smile because you know one like you mentioned none it is been a big surprise for me he was not that kind of a star right but the kind of messages the kind of love and it is love it is because yeah, they don't know me you know it's like I just felt goosebumps seeing those things and listening to those messages or somebody telling me whatever you know it just kind of I felt that's his legacy his legacy is not a studio his legacy is not a you know like a company or a anything I felt his legacy is his fans his legacy is are his fans who still would um, think that he's around yeah and his legacy is also um you and the two uh, sons who are very very well brought up but you know um, dealing with grief um can be difficult uh, can be traumatizing to yes. be very honest yes. and can be unnerving yes um, but braving it with a smile is even more difficult is what i believe aapke jaate jaate aapke hi ek message ka main line padunga ki kuch log itne kareeb hote hain ki zindagi mein unke bina bhi wo utne hi करीब होते हैं आई होप दैट यू योर पार्टनरशिप विल लास्ट इटर्निटी एंड पॉसिबली इटर्निटीज लाइक यू सेड आई होप एंड प्रे दैट यू गैज मीट अगेन एंड योर आई आई ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू हैव दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन नॉट टू नॉट एज अ सॉप स्टोरी एंड आई एम हैप्पी दैट वी रिमेंबर हिम विद अ स्माइल बिकॉज दैट्स एग्जैक्टली हाउ ही वुड लाइक टू बी रिमेंबर आई नो इट्स अ वेरी लॉन्ग आउट रो बट आई कैन डू विदाउट इट थैंक यू फॉर डूइंग दिस दिस इज बीन a conversation i have really really wanted to have and uh, by the end of it i'll tell you that um i i have all emotions in within me after this conversation i have happy tears i have i'm very um, i'm smiling also and i also know that um, you will be the face of a lot of men and women who deal with grief and can't deal with it as well and thank you for doing this thank and you so much Thank you. And uh, like I say guys, if she can, you can too. Hi, this is Shutapa and uh, this is Bollywood Bubble and we had a soul to soul, heart to heart talk with Noyun and uh, it was a journey which I took with him which was I was resisting but it was like a catharsis and we touched so many aspects of Irfan and myself. and our kids so please do watch and if you uh, like it do subscribe bollywood bubble thank you so much